The Albuquerque International Sunport is the primary airport air hub, excuse me, for most of the state, but business leaders and others have long complained. Not enough direct flights from the city to anywhere, and traffic has been declining at the Sunport for a few years. Now comes word that the dominant carrier at the airport, Southwest Airlines, could start cutting back on the number of flights serving New Mexico when part of a federal law expires next year. That law currently forces flights from, from to or from Dallas Love Field to land in Albuquerque before heading to cities like Las Vegas or LA. And add to those concerns, Amtrak routes in New Mexico and Colorado and Kansas may also be in jeopardy if the rail line fails to reach an agreement by 2016 for upgrading the Southwest Chief Route. Dan already had business folks complaining about how difficult it is to get meetings on the East Coast on time. And I, I, we were laughing before we started taping this, the old uh, red eye uh, for folks trying to get back to Washington, D.C. for years. There's always the great bleary eyed 1130 at night Albuquerque meetup, you know. But getting flights in and out has a huge economic impact here. Phenomenal. Huge it's, economic it's, impact. You know, it's Absolutely. interesting to see what the trade off is. You know, you look mm -hmm. at places where I moved here from in Roswell, right. you know, now you can get to Dallas. You can get to and from Dallas yep. out of Roswell. Yep. I think you can get to Phoenix from Roswell now. Mm -hmm. You can get to Houston from Hobbs right now. Right. So, you know, the question is this move. If they're going to take it out of Albuquerque, are you going to see flights from Farmington and flights from Albuquerque? Right. And so are you going to get, not have as many flights in Albuquerque, but are you going to be able to get, you know, mix them in with flights from other places? Um, you know, the fact of the matter is, is if you're going to do business in New Mexico, mm -hmm. you, if you're going to do big business in New Mexico, you not only have to have clients here, you have to have clients outside of the state. That's right. And, you know, it, it, the more difficult it is to get to Dallas or to get to Denver, to get to Phoenix, it's going to be difficult for a lot of companies here to maintain what they're doing. Construction companies that are bidding projects in those other areas, um, you know, because it's such a long drive from here. So right. it, it's, it's, it's problematic. I'm not sure um, that this will finally happen. You know, I mean, the railroad has only worked because of the subsidies forever from the federal government. I don't think they're going to do away with all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I, we were talking before, Gene, I, I talked about getting uh, uh, family members of mine a train ticket from Chicago to here, and it was cheaper to buy a plane ticket. Right. It was cheaper to buy a plane ticket the week before than it was to plan the trip on the train. So it's like the train is pricing itself out of, out of operation also. But mm -hmm. if, we don't, if we don't figure out a way to keep them here, um, and how are we going to how are we going to see that expansion? Sure. At the same time, we're seeing uh, Southwest talking about moving. We're seeing JetBlue coming in. Mm -hmm. So you know, is one airline the option, right. or is it? You know, once they lose those gates, because, you know, if you, if you know anything about the airline industry, my parents both retire from American Airlines, mm -hmm. you know, the most precious real estate is the gates. Right. They only have so many right. gates. Yeah. So when someone leaves, someone else usually comes in and says, I want that gate. Yeah. Um, obviously, LaGuardia and LAX are the, you know, the big price gates. But I would imagine there's going to be regional carriers and folks like JetBlue that say, we'll take some of those gates and we'll find that opportunity to maybe make those flights, just like Southwest. Sure. Southwest that, stepped in and filled the gap. That's the theory, and uh, I appreciate that because Jerry Clossing from the AP, it's interesting. I had learned uh, some years ago, we all remember Jay Czar, he was the czar at the airport uh, here under uh, Mayor Marty. Mexico Mortgage Finance Authority. That's now. where he is now. And I remember he used to give speeches about how running an airport is actually quite like running a business, like Dan mm -hmm. said. There's a lot of tough negotiation that goes on with the carriers, you know, carriage fees, all that kind of stuff is a very, very tough deal. But he also would say you don't want to be beholden to a, one airline for too right. much of your stuff. <laughs> right. And here we are, we wake up one day with 60% of our flights, if not more with one carrier. So is it possible to get to where Dan's talking about? Could we get the gap filled here? I hope so. I yeah. think it would be, I mean, it would certainly be better for travelers. And it's, yeah. Right now, it's really difficult to get anywhere without stopping um, in Dallas or Denver. Right. And it would be nice to get a lot. I don't know what the reality is of this, but you right. know, get some more long haul flights like JetBlue to New York or, sure. or to Washington. There's only one nonstop to Washington right now, I believe. And that's right. That's United. That's right. So, I, anybody here ever have a, a flight back east where you actually fly to Phoenix? No. And fly oh, yeah. Back oh, over yeah. Albuquerque. Oh, yeah. And it's <laughs> like, oh. I actually we haven't had, even gotten I actually, started yet. I actually <laughs> had a flight that I had to go to New York, and it was quicker for me to fly to LA and yes. take the flight from LA to New York yes. than it was to try to make the flight from here to the east. In those examples, Steve, what would. What business person wants that if they got to go back oh, to the exactly. office? Well, I mean, yeah. come on, you know. It's, it's like uh, you know, if this, this happens and these uh, little airlines don't fill the place, it's like we're becoming more isolated. Right. As, uh, right. You know, as the world gets uh, less isolated, we're becoming more isolated. That's right, because that's part of the deal. The announcement from Southwest is losing those smaller mm -hmm. hubs a little bit. And my question on that is: Is this the point that folks like Eclipse are trying to make? Eclipse Aviation. Mm -hmm that perhaps we're coming to a world where the big carriers, it's just not, doesn't make sense for them to go to these smaller hubs. Someone else is gonna to have to fill that in and maybe that's where the Eclipse Aviations come in. 
Could Who knows? Be more, you know, could, right, be, exactly. could be more costly. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that we need to have the executive. It seems like the executive needs to take a larger role here and, right. you know, sort of be coming out. I mean, tourism is really important to the state of New Mexico. We've sure. got to have, it's not just us getting out, it's people getting in. That's right. And it seems to me <laughs> that maybe the executive, our, our governor, needs to be talking about this too. And right. Yeah, and we've done a lot, you know, we've done a lot over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a big bill when I was in the legislature, remember, on the fuel tax for Southwest Airlines oh, right. that, you know, we did some stuff to help them stay here at the mm -hmm. Sunport. Mm -hmm. But I think that you're going to see, you know, the, the, the recent merger between uh, US, US, right. U.S. Airways and American Airlines, and if you've seen the uh, ads that are coming out, American Airlines is buying all these new airplanes. I think you're finding this could open, I believe this could open an opportunity because the American Airlines, they're not going to fly the jumbo jet in, into Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. well, they want to get you on that American Eagle flight out of Albuquerque mm -hmm. to Dallas or Denver or Phoenix or wherever mm -hmm. to get you on the bigger plane. Right. And I think that you're going to see, because of the economies of scale, as you were talking about, Gene, yeah. that when these bigger uh, Southwest Airlines flights move out, I think you're going to see these smaller regional carriers that partner with the American Airlines of the world because they want to get you here. They don't want to get you to Chicago right. Right. and let you choose the cheapest flight out of That's Chicago. Right. <laughs> they want to tie in out of Albuquerque, Roswell, or Hobbs to their entire package to sure. get from there to wherever you're going. That's a point. From planes to trains, Jerry Clossing, interesting. Uh, Amtrak seems to be... Steve Martin. For, for, a lot, for a lot of folks, the train is just this quaint thing that, right. you know, but for a lot of folks around these parts, as they say, the train was really a very long distance mode of choice right. to Los Angeles, to Gallup, to a lot of, you know, Flagstaff, there was a stop for the Southwest Chief. The, it, it's hard to predict the impact on this, certainly, but let's just sort of what if here. If, in fact, we still have Berlin, they'll still go through Berlin with a reroute, reroute is that the same thing as having our stop here in Albuquerque? Are we still in the same mess uh, even if we have a, a Berlin stop. What does that do for folks who are struggling here and need to get across the country? Well, I, I'm not sure how much impact the train service has. I, I, I think trains are as expensive as airplanes anymore, so mm -hmm. I, I think that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think it's, it's an impact for people who are in remote locations who can't get to the Albuquerque airport. But right. I, as far as, out, you know, I, th I still think, as far as expense and for people, right. I... Sure I, help Berlin grow, that's for sure. The, All right, yeah. having that stop there, yeah. yeah you yeah. know, then you got the rail runner that takes you from here that's to right. there. So right. I mean, right. I, you know, it's clearly could be a huge economic boost for, and remember, you know, you, t right. you talk to people in Bernalillo, you know, they tell you that in the, village, in the town of Bernalillo, that they were supposed to be the train stop. But the forefather said, no, we don't want that riffraff getting off the train staying here. Mm. So they built it in Albuquerque. And, you know, people will tell you that, you know, at that time, Bernalillo was bigger than Albuquerque. Right. And now look where Albuquerque is. I mean, could right. this be the boost that Berlin needs to help help the, you know, the economic, mm -hmm. you know, help, help them diversify economically? That's an interesting riff point. Yeah. Yeah. More riffraff. Riff <laughs> you're not getting on the train, Steve. Stay out of the how train. Many, how many people rode that train? Which one? Uh, the Southwest Chief on a daily basis. Wow, that's oh, I, I uh, what was the reporting? I saw 128,000 over the last year either got on or got off uh, Amtrak here in Albuquerque. Which I don't have the, I, and again, that question, Lana, is interesting from you, Jerry, because I don't, for comparison's sake, I don't know what that means. I don't yeah. know if that's a lot of yeah. people. <laughs> I, don't I know. know, well, you know yeah. what I mean? I know. Is it on the decline? Is it on the uprise? But my point being, you know, I appreciate the point about cheaper to fly. However, the difference is with, an, with a train ticket to consistent <laughs> price, you know what you're going to get. You can almost plan for it. The airlines, you have to be a very savvy consumer, which right. may not be necessarily the thing for folks that are taking the train in very general terms. If we lost, so my question, if we lost the train completely, is it appreciably a terrible thing for low-income folks here? Is there a way to pick up the slack? I think economically it's yeah. bad to lose people coming in and out of your city. It's another way for them to get yeah. in, another way for them to get out. I mean, you know, that's... That's, you know, that's uh, people vacationing. That's people, sure. I mean, there's a, there's a lot going on here. If we lost uh, Lamy, you know, right. Lamy goes into Santa Fe. They have right. a little truck that comes out every day and meets people to take them into the hotels. That's right. I mean, there are people who choose not to take airlines. They don't want to deal with that's TSA. Right. They don't want to deal with security. They, they right. don't like to fly. That's right. right. And my mother's one of these. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so you know, if Lamy goes away, I don't know how she's going to get here. Well, think, go. think about it, Gene. <laughs> it's think a real-life think, example. Think, think, right about, think about it, Gene, Please. though. 120,000 people getting off the train mm -hmm. in downtown. Town Albuquerque, my office used to be down there. There's not a lot around the train station. That's true. 120,000 people getting off a train in Berlin. That's that's a, that could be a huge economic okay. impact down there. Fair enough. Right there.